Are you looking for some fancy pocket jewelry for that special someone at Christmas time? We got it for you. Let's light it up. Uh, first off, some clarification. I am not 50. It was a joke that he made, and <laughs> a lot of people actually believed it. And we're going to start off with a couple of Medfords here. And the first one being um, this uh, Praetorian Slim right here, which I've always loved this uh, this pattern. Um, it's super slim, very comfortable, very nice in the hand, uh, coming in with S45VN on the blade steel, got the nice... Uh, laser etching on the blade itself with the torn 1776 Betsy Ross flag right there. Really gorgeous knife. It is titanium. It is a frame lock and obviously as always really good grinds with the Medfords. It's got the glass breaker right there on the blade tang and um, really good action. Just feels so nice and I dig that one a lot drinking game started um <laughs> dig so dig 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 somebody is messed up now <laughs> <laughs> so 670 on that one um what do you think about that one? First of all when when i was holding it earlier and i put it in hand i was like holy smokes it don't weigh but it's a substantial like uh, full size anything. yeah nice and uh yeah it's a full size knife it gives me like overbuilt uh, it, like you, if, you, if you're familiar with the weight of the Benchmades, it's, yeah. it's very similar in weight and hand, but it's like way more blade. So yeah. it's very cool. It's going to disappear. It's a, it's the biggest knife I think you can buy that's not going to weigh your pocket down. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good way of putting I, it. I'll say that. And it's not just this one. We've got a ton of new ones of this uh, pattern in that are in different colors, um, different patterns, different. Uh, I guess, dressings, if you will. So not just this one that's uh, got the 1776 flag, but several other ones as well. So yes. a lot of different versions. And one that I picked out that, and we couldn't show all of them because it would be way too long, but one that I picked out just because I like the finish on this one is uh, this uh, TFF1 right here from Medford. S35VN on the blade steel, PVD coated, and got what they're calling here is their uh, brush bronze lightning anodizing on the titanium right there with the uh, milling. And it just gives it a really cool look, especially the way it shimmers when you turn it in a light there. So it's got that brush bronze, but with the blue kind of accents. And talk about a substantial blade. I think they took a page out of the, the Espada playbook. Yeah, right? <laughs> so it's... It's, a, it's a pocket sword. Really, I mean, it's a it's a chopper for sure. Now that one, you you might feel in your pocket. Yes, yes, <laughs> this one's uh, quite a bit heavier, um, and coming in at eight seventy, so really nice, uh, really well made, well built. Um, I'm sorry, I can't do this one without using my wrist, but I didn't use it very much. I really didn't. Um, so. Really, uh, really cool blade right there. And if you're looking for something for that someone that, uh, I guess, has everything or maybe collects Medfords, this is going to be a great addition to a collection like that. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, and you get a really cool, they, they come with all these really cool waterproof uh, cases to keep it in. Yep. So, really, really neat. And um, one thing that's nice uh, that I don't think gets mentioned, mentioned enough is... Uh, Medford's warranty. So these are warrantied for life, regardless of whether it's new or used condition. Um, they're warranted against defects, and they stand behind that. They they do a really good job of taking care of their customers and taking care of their people and keeping them outfitted with really nice quality stuff. So, yeah, that one is that one is a showpiece. For yeah, sure. absolutely, but. All of their stuff is worthy of being heavily used. Yes. Um, so moving right along, and these aren't anything new, but they are restocks. So we wanted to feature these, and that is going to be some XM18s from Hinderer. Um, we just got several of these in, in a bunch of different colorways, orange, blue, OD green, black, as well as different colorways on the backside. So this one right here that Isaac's got is going to be the working finish on the backside, 
Let me get my hand out of the way so it can focus on yours. There it goes. So that's going to be the working finish right there. Um, and this, of course, is the triway. Uh, three ways of opening. Got the ambi thumb studs, got the flipper. And it is the XM18. That one in particular is the Sponto. And then we've also got the spear point here in the black G10. Again, like I said, we've got several different colors. It's got the finger tool right there, which I dig. Again, drink. <laughs> and uh, this one is the battle bronze finish on the back side, which I also really like. Uh, tip up or tip down pocket carry and really good action, as always, from Hinderer. S45 VN on the blade steel. And those are coming in at just 425 So, I mean, kind of standard fare for Hinderer, and they're going to be a solid pocket knife that's going to last you for years, and I would say generations. And I'll say this because in the last video we showed these, the guy said, why did you just put them on here to flex that they were sold out? You better hurry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. So we're not, and you know, we get, so I want to say we got probably, usually we get anywhere from 10 to 15 of these in at a time, and they're usually gone in a matter of a couple of days. So... That's just the way it goes. Well, Hinderers are in high demand. They still are. Uh, it, this this is filmed on Thursday. It comes out on Saturday. <sighs> That's as fast as we can get the video out to you. I'm sorry, guys. It's <laughs> just the way it goes. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Um, and next up is going to be our new X-Wing. So this is going to add to our X-Wing series. This is the first UTX-85 variant. So you've seen the Ultratex. We've got it in the Dagger Blade. We've got it in the Tonto blade, partially serrated and non-serrated. We've got it in the Hellhound blade in the Ultratech. And now we've got the UTX-85 in Hellhound. Hell yeah. Um, so, that, right? That works, Hell right? Yeah, brother. So this one's going to be a little less expensive with it being an 85. It's a little bit smaller. And I actually don't have mine here with me, my uh, Ultratech with me. It's actually in my car right now. The audience gasps. Right. Um, I but, do not dig that. <laughs> so this one's going to be a, a decent amount smaller, a little bit more pocketable. Um, and I, I got to say, I do like the UTX-85 size. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a really good size. You don't dig it? I do. I'm trying not to make these people super drunk, all right? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help them out, all right? So uh, made in November of 2023. You can see right there. We've got a few of these in. The price on the Ultratech was four sixty five, I think. These are four nineteen. Four nineteen. That's a great deal for a intergalactic. Let me let me have that one in hand. Nice, isn't Feels it? Feels good in hand. It's takes up the palm. Yep. Uh, Got the glass breaker on the back side. It feels feels right. M three ninety on the blade steel. Feels right. I mean, so here's something we're going to show in a minute. This is a full-size trapper. So, about the same. Very close to the same. Yeah. Really like that. Next up is going to be one that we've got coming out next week. Now, that one uh, actually released yesterday. So, on the 8th. And that one may be still available. I don't know. We'll see. This one actually releases next week. And this is a Brian Brown Jaeger. And this is from their production line. This is actually an exclusive, and I'll get my oily fingerprints off of that there. So um, this is actually our exclusive from Brian Brown. We've got a handful of these available, so get them while you can. Our exclusive uh, entails the titanium uh, frag pattern right here with the bronze finish there. Uh, M390 on the blade steel, nice hollow ground blade right there. And just super solid these jaegers have been really popular for a long time got a very unobtrusive flipper there but also got the thumb hole opening that works really well as well those are coming in at 374.95 i believe those are i don't know i'm not going to speculate i don't remember exactly so um got the really nice back spacer there that is kind of contoured and i dig that i dig it Gosh, that's twice. <laughs> oh, gosh. I messed up. We might that. break the record in this video. Yeah. Some so, people probably have no idea what we're talking about. There's some people that are doing drinking <laughs> games on words that I say, like, phenomenal, fantastic, dig. Amazing. 
Stupendous. That's <laughs> going to be a new one. Um, so, yeah, really nice knife, really good quality, and it is an exclusive. I also like the pivot yeah. right there being a different shape. And also, something else, The there's no billboarding, no huge advertising. You can just see Brian Brown's logo right Love that. there. So, interesting little tidbit, and I'll just touch on this real quick. We're going to be doing a video, and it's going to be coming out uh, in advance of this one releasing with Brian Brown, kind of talking about his start in knives and um, where that all comes from. All of his knives that he's made are very um, aviation-oriented. So the names come from that. You you can see the Raptor, which is aviation oriented, as well as the Jaeger, which is referring to um, Chuck Jaeger, I believe is the name. Uh, but first man, I asked the sound him if it had anything to do with Jaeger mastering. At first he said no, but then he but said, then he said yes. He kind of leans into that sometimes. So um, yeah. Really cool knife there. He's got a very inspirational story in that video yeah, too. To yeah. go with a great guy makes you want to buy his knives. So it's uh, nice to put a face with a company and and have that sense of ownership and pride. So absolutely. Next up <laughs> is going to be one of our new, and uh, we actually got this one a little late and uh, trying to get it out there for you guys in time for Christmas. That is going to be our new mini copper lock from Case. This is the Joyful. It's red smooth bone right there. Got the pinch bolsters, brass liners, brass pins. Got the Joyful engraved on it and golden colored in the in the um, scales there. Uh, True sharp surgical steel on the blade. And of course, everybody knows this is my favorite case pattern. I collect them. I, I'm trying to resist this one because I don't have the money right now. But <laughs> it also comes in the collectible tin right here. So not the standard box. It comes in the collectible tin. Uh, that one's coming in at one hundred three ninety nine, and really excited about that one. And if you get a chance to get into our showroom, you might see some different pricing in our showroom. I'm not supposed to say that, but yeah, there it is. I dig it. There's some things that we can do in the showroom that we can't do online. That's just the way it goes. That's the cost of doing business. So. Next up is going to be a new case series, and this is going to be the Burnt Goldenrod Second Cut Jig. So, rolls off the tongue. And these are, and we've had some people asking about these. These are the new Damascus, um, carbon steel Damascus case knives. And we've actually showed this one off in a video. I don't know if that video's aired yet or not, but um, we've actually showed this one off yeah, it, Already. it aired, it aired uh, Thursday. It did? Okay. Yeah. It airs the day we're filming this. So okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. And so this one I featured in that video. Really love this knife. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that uh, burnt goldenrod second cut jig on the handle right there. Really nice knife. Brass pins, brass liners, nickel silver on the bolsters. But that's not all. It's not just the trapper. We've also got... The small toothpick right here in the same blade, same handle, all of that. We've also got the peanut, which a lot of people collect peanuts. And that one's got half stops on that main blade. I just realized that. Half stops on both blades. So we've got the peanut as well. And then, of course, we've got your favorite. Ah, the Sodbuster. Everybody knows... You always carry your side Yeah, uh, You've so been carrying I, it for I brought a while. I brought a new one today because I'm sure when people see my pocket checks, they're about tired of seeing me carry uh, this all the time. But man, I love Sodbuster Junior. I think uh, that that was my first one I bought, believe it or not, and it has changed the game for me in carrying traditionals with a single blade. Fits good in hand, and man, I am in love with this one. I I don't know if I can buy it but I sure do want it and it is beautiful I don't think I would personally carry this one because uh, these do kind of increase in their value for collectors yeah especially the Damascus blade so if you're looking this is the cheapest one of the or I don't know I think this one's like two two oh five two oh something that was 198 190 I was right around it so 198 yeah, that's that's tempting, and it's really nice. 
actually 198 for that one for the small toothpick and for the peanut 323 for the um, trapper so the in my trapper. opinion i know you're getting two blades on the this one and for the price the size of the blade and the size of the handle yeah Sawbuster Junior to me, man. Like, I, if I was to sell you one knife today, it'd be this one right here. Because I can, I can tell you, I use mine for everything. It is my everyday. Yeah. EDC, love it to death. And these I, are gonna be these are gonna be good users, but they're also gonna be great collectible pieces because these carbon steel Damascus blades are something that Case doesn't do a lot of. They yeah. don't make a lot of them. Yeah. Like usually, uh, in as far as numbers goes, um, we get anywhere from you know seventy five to uh, two hundred of each, depending on how popular we think they're going to be and that kind of thing. These right here, we get like maybe twenty of each, and we are the largest case dealer in the country by far. So yeah. That Man. speaks to how many are the, of these are made and how many of these actually go out. Yeah, I encourage you guys to get one. You got a really good deal on a Damascus that was a couple of years old from the yeah. antique section. So that's another fun thing you can do if you come to the store. Don't walk, run to our antique knives because you can find some really good deals. Because we do buy old collections and we sell them here in the store. That way you can get a chance at getting maybe some... Old classic knives that you haven't seen in years that are discontinued and aren't made anymore. So, uh, we already saw your Sawbuster yes. Jr. What else are you carrying today? So, that was, that was my little thing I keep on me all the time. From P&W. And Bushcraft. then I've got, got a, little, a little thing right here. So, when we was at Georgia Bushcraft, Shaking I went over and picked it. up this uh, cool little knife from LT. We don't sell them. We are looking to get them in stock. Uh, no name to it yet, so... Maybe maybe that coming soon. Yeah. So, um, really like the the feel of it. He brought a couple of these on our uh, on his trip down here when we had our uh, fall festival, and I saw it there, and I was like, oh man, I it really... looks very similar to their small northern hunter. Yeah. Uh, so, so look for these coming soon. It's it feels really good in hand. You can finger test yep. works. It's it's just it's perfect little size. You've been carrying a smaller. Fixed blade for a while with the Weatherford. Yep. And um, unless just, unless you're out in the woods and you really need to be doing some stuff, that for everyday tasks, that, that little yeah. fixed blade. For and I've actually gotten to where I enjoy having a small knife for even heavier duty stuff. Mm -hmm. There's there's More not control. a lot. Yeah. There's not a lot that I'm really looking for a bigger blade for unless I'm doing a lot of chopping or something like that and need that extra cutting edge, but for the most part, my smaller blades are, are getting it done for me. And I, I like that a lot. So for me, I've got, I've got a couple of different things. Um, first up, uh, as far as uh, what I want to say, what I want to talk about here is this one. And I'm giving this one some pocket time. This is actually a GEC uh, that I've got, uh, 86 pattern from GEC, nice Barlow pattern, um, with the Cyclops steel work. So this is their stainless steel with the green micarta and it's got the acorn on the uh, bolster right there on both sides and I, I love my GECs I absolutely love them they are some of my favorite knives and I was implored I was actually offering this one up for trade um, the other day guy decided not to go with it it was Reese Parrish and uh, really great dude but he implored me to give this one some pocket time and, and give it a shot I don't usually carry a lot of my GECs they're kind of uh, safe queens for me they they stay in my collection um, appreciating in value but this one I decided to give some pocket time to and I'm I'm really liking it and uh, with all them GECs I think one of them does deserve some pocket time. it does and I do carry my urban jack and that's a, a that's a good one too yeah. I really like that nice single blade I could Barlow see larger Barlow I could definitely see the Barlow's jumping into my pocket pretty easy so. yeah and then I also want to thank uh, Martine from Leatherman um, so I've got, uh, I wasn't able to get one of our Leatherman Arcs um, because we sold out of them so quickly, but um, got the Leatherman Arc right here. And I'm, I, I'm kind of partial to this one. It, I, I won't say too much, but just like Taylor Martin and I said, this model really shows that Leatherman is 
listening to their dealers and their consumers with where to go with their product lines. And I like the improvements on this. They are very useful and very well thought out improvements. And that's all I'll say about that. And I've always loved the free series. And this kind of expounds on that in a really good way. And this is, so far, I'm, I'm loving it. And it's going to be my new multi-tool carry for pretty much every day. So does that mean I get your old one? Maybe. Huh. We'll <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right. All right. So the camera said we're done. Yep. Uh, so we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you next week. We got CRKT Christmas gift guide coming up next yep. week. And, and actually tomorrow we've got Jim McNair from Kershaw coming in showing us all the new product lines for 2024. They're actually in that bag right there. But you can look at them. We've already gotten a chance to see them, but we can't show them yet. We would get fired if we did that. Oh, sorry. Whoop, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next week. Remember if you catch me here. <laughs> <laughs>